Google goes black for Earth Hour. Up next, we've got the details on these top stories and more on your U.S. news. Hi everyone, welcome to GetTheDaily.com, I'm Dana Ward. A Texas woman was forced by the TSA to remove her nipple rings as part of a pre-flight security screening. Mandy Hamlin was attempting to fly from Lubbock to Fort Worth when she tripped the metal detector. TSA screeners identified that Hamlin's piercings were at fault and ordered her to remove her nipple rings behind a nearby curtain. Hamlin removed the piercings herself with a pair of pliers. TSA officials claim that the screeners properly followed procedure and that terrorists often hide dangerous weapons in sensitive areas. TSA regulations stipulate that passengers can either be pat down and show the piercing or remove it. Hamlin says that she was not given the option and that she was not forced to remove her navel or earrings. While supporting their officers for trying to ensure the safety of passengers, TSA officials admit that some of their procedures should be changed. Hamlin is waiting to see if an apology is forthcoming before taking legal action. Police are investigating two highway shootings, one of them fatal, that took place in the San Fernando Valley and Long Beach. A motorist was found shot in the head early Sunday morning after his car hit a sound wall and flipped over on the 101 freeway. The Long Beach incident occurred late Saturday night. The victim says that he was driving north on the 710 freeway when he was shot by another motorist. The victim categorized the incident as road rage and left the scene with non-life-threatening injuries. These shootings occur about one month after three previous highway shootings in the Los Angeles area. Motorists were shot on the Foothill, 101, and San Bernardino Freeway, with the latter incident proving to be fatal. Investigators are looking into the crimes and have said that the earlier shooting on the 101 was a result of a road rage incident. It is unknown as to whether or not the police have any suspects in these shootings. Sittings across the world faded to black Saturday night in an effort to raise awareness about energy consumption and global warming. The international event was overseen by the World Wildlife Fund and modeled after Australia's successful Earth Hour last year. Residents of cities throughout the U.S. participated, with many restaurants and stores being lit up by candlelight only. Prominent buildings in Chicago and San Francisco also went in the dark in support of Earth Hour. Organizers said the main purpose was to show people that they can be leaders and participate on a direct level in reducing their consumption and helping to stem the tide of harmful emissions. The Google website got into the act as well when they replaced their typical white background with a black one. There was also a link that explained their support and helped to advertise the event. That's your U.S. News update for now. I'm Dana Ward. Thanks for watching GetTheDaily.com.